But now this is what we're here for. We want to learn about how 64-bit paging works. So first of all, physical address extensions is mandatory if you're going to have 64-bit paging. That was actually shown on our Black Manta finite state machine diagram before about transitioning to long mode. And then really it comes down to, you know, are you using page size extensions? If not, four kilobytes only. If so, then you can actually get four kilobyte, two megabyte, not four megabyte like it was up here, and one gigabyte. And then there's the last for 57-bit addressing. So let's look at this one. Now for this, I'm not going to give you the nice animated version. You can go rewatch the 32-bit version if you want to see that. But this is just the exact same principles that we saw with the 32-bit version extended to having a depth of four here instead of a depth of two. So originally, you know, put your hand over the screen right here and you'll see 32-bit paging, right? You'll see that you've got a page directory and a page table. Not quite 32-bit paging, but because those would have needed to be 10 bits instead of nine bits, but close enough. All right, so miscellaneous comment, just to that uh, it's showing 40 bits here. This should really be, you know, something like max viz adder minus 12 on a 52-bit system, on a 52-bit max, you know, uh, physical address space, yes, it's 40. So that's kind of what this is assuming. But, you know, as I said, my computer only has a 39-bit max viz adder. So, you know, it would be different on my system, it would be different on your system. But I didn't want to update all these, and quite frankly, I started updating them, and then I ran into exactly the problem, which is probably why Intel didn't update them, which is it's hard to put max viz adder minus 12 here, for instance. And it gets very messy fast. So anyways, just to say that those 40s are not real 40s, they're max viz adder based things. So you start at something called the page map level four. So when Intel expanded the to the 36-bit address for that physical address extensions on 32-bit, uh, they, they gave it a weird name, a page directory, pointer, table. So that had a weird name. And eventually they said, you know, no more with the weird names. Let's just start numbering them. So page map level four. So your CR3 has a physical address that points at a page map level four. And there's going to be a 9-bit index from the top of your 48-bit linear address space. Take the top 9 bits, and that's used as an index into your page map level 4 entry. Page map level 4 entry will then point at a page directory pointer table. That's the sort of weird name I talked about. It's going to grab 40 bits out of that, find the physical, use, you know, the bottom 12 bits will be assumed to be 0 and that will point it at a page directory pointer table from which nine bits are again plucked from the linear address to index into the page directory pointer table and find the PDPTE, page directory pointer table entry. Nine bits index into that table, PDPTE. All right, and from there, it's then the exact same sort of page directories. So nine bits instead of 10 bits is used to index into the page directory and find the page directory entry. And nine bits instead of 10 bits is used to index into the page table. And finally, you're left with 40 bits of, uh, 40 bits of the entry are used to base, to find the base of the page and the 12 bits of the offset, the last 12 bits in your linear address is used to index into the specific byte that you want to access inside of that page. Whereas in 32-bit paging, each of these entries was a 4-byte value. Now in 64-bit paging, each of these entries is an 8-byte value. Because of course you wouldn't be able to hold 40 bits there, would you, if it was still 32 bits. Now just like previously in 32-bit, we saw that there was a version that had a 4-megabyte page where you basically just took out one level of the page tables, the page table specifically, and you used all those bits as an index into a larger thing. Well, previously it was 10 and 12 bits. Now it's 9 and 12 bits, which means it's going to be a 21-bit offset, which means it's 2 to the 21 big, which means it's a 2 megabyte page instead of a 4 megabyte page. Other than that, it's all basically exactly the same. CR3 pointing at a page map level 4, page map level 4 pointing at a page directory pointer table, pointing at a page directory. And then this page directory entry points at a large 2 megabyte physical page instead of a page table. But even bigger than that, the humongous page 
you can do the same thing in 64-bit and accumulate in another 9 bits, and you get a 30-bit 30, 30 offset, which means you've got a 2 to the 30-byte page, a 1 gigabyte page. So CR3 to page map level 4, page map level 4 to page directory pointer table, and then that table can say, you know what, I don't point at a page directory, I point at a giant 1 gigabyte page. Okay, so that's it for this section. What did we learn about? Well, we learned about the slicing and dicing of the linear address. It gets turned into some number of bits, it's some sort of index into table one, table two, table three, table four. There's all these, uh, all these different bit indices into these various tables. In the next section, we're going to learn what's in each of those entries in each of those tables.